Welcome to the Autumn Possum Classroom Grade 4. Worksheets for the following story are available if you like and follow me on YouTube. And you must email me at awesomepossumclassroom at gmail.com to receive worksheets. Today we're going to um, start video two of the six video series. My brother Martin, a sister remembers growing up with the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Our essential question for this story is, what might lead a person to try to change the world? Okay, today we will preview the topic we will work on author's purpose, and we will read the story independently. Remember, boys and girls, you need to read the story at least three times this week. You also will continue working on your comprehension questions. Okay, boys and girls, let's go ahead and let's preview the topic of civil rights. Civil rights are the rights that every person has as a citizen of the United States. Until the 1960s, many African Americans did not have the same rights as other Americans. One of the most powerful leaders in the fight for civil rights was Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. He led peaceful protests that eventually led to change in the laws about the rights of all Americans. In My Brother Martin, his sister tells about the childhood experiences that inspired her brother to spend his life fighting for civil rights. Now, let's talk about the historical events. Authors of biographies tell not only about a person's life, but also about the historical events that took place during that person's life. To understand historical events, think about the information in the text that tells about what happened and why. For example, in My Brother Martin, the author says that a family rarely went to the picture shows. This was because the laws that kept black people separate. So, our essential question is, what might lead a person to change the world? Think about the historical events that was happening during this time when Dr. Martin Luther King was growing up and what was happening as he turned into an adult. That's going to help you answer the essential question of what might lead a person to change the world. Let's move on to our target skill of author's purpose. I have included a video for you to watch that goes along with this lesson. It is in your packet. Um, click on the link and it'll take you right to the video. So, author's purpose. As you read My Brother Martin, think about the author's purpose or reason for writing. Does she want to inform you, entertain you, or persuade you? Look for clues or in text evidence. Pay attention to the detail the author chooses to support her points. Note the kind of words she chooses to describe people and events. Use a graphic organizer like this one to help you figure out and explain the author's purpose. Now, um, by the end of the week, you will need to fill in a graphic organizer like this one explaining the author's purpose of the story, My Brother Martin. And you're going to need to make sure you go in and find three details from the text to support the purpose. Did the author write the story to persuade you? To make you try to do something? Entertain you? To make you laugh? or inform you 
give you information. Now, we've read two stories so far. My uh, Because of Win Dixie, which is realistic fiction, that's a genre, and My Brother Martin, which is a biography. Those two stories are written for two different reasons. Here's an excerpt or a portion of the story um, Because of Win Dixie. What I want you to do is look for evidence from this excerpt to support. Did the author write the story because of Win Dixie to entertain you, persuade you, or give you information? So let's look at this. Amanda pretended like I wasn't there. She stared right past me. Are dogs allowed in the library? She asked Miss Fanny as they walked away. Certain ones, said Miss Fanny. A select few. And then she turned around and winked at me. I smiled back. I had just made my first friend in Naomi, and nobody was going to, to mess that up for me. Not even old, pinched-faced Amanda Wilkinson. All right, so now let's think about this. Was the author, did the author of uh, Because of Win Dixie write this part of the story to persuade you to do something, make you want to buy something? That's what it means to persuade. Commercials are, um, are um, made to try to persuade you to do something. They're trying to persuade you to buy something. So, did the author, um, was the author here trying to persuade you to do something? No. Was the author giving you information? Informational text is written to give you facts. Facts about something that happened. No. Did the author of Because of Win Dixie write this story to entertain you? Yes was to entertain you and there's one specific detail that I can note that absolutely positively I can tell that this story was written to entertain you and it's right here when um, Opal says and nobody was going to mess that up not even old pinched faced Amanda Wilkinson that's supposed to make you laugh. And it, I know it made me laugh when I read that. So I knew that this story, because of Win Dixie, was written to entertain. Now, by the end of this week, you're going to have to fill out a graphic organizer like this. It's in your material and turn it in to me and determine the author's purpose of my brother Martin. Entertain, persuade, or inform and you need to give me three details to help you determine what's the story to entertain you persuade you or inform you now boys and girls I'm gonna ask you in a little bit to reread the story and remember I make you listen to the story once and then I ask you to read the story three times during the week and that's because um, I want you to I want to make sure that you understand the story and I want to make sure that you read the story fluently now when you're reading the story a second and a third time I want you to monitor and clarify what you're reading as you read my brother Ma my brother Ma Martin monitor or pay attention to your understanding of individual words and ideas. If something doesn't make sense, stop and clarify it. Make it clearer. You can clarify by rereading the sentence or paragraph above what you just read and sometimes below what you just read. You have to use the context of the story to help you monitor and clarify what you read. That's very, very important. Now, it's time for you to independently read the story and begin to answer your comprehension questions. Make sure you use the skill monitor and clarify as you're reading. At this time, I want you to pause the video. I want you to 
pull out the story, I want you to read the story, and then I want you to come right back to the video. Okay, boys and girls, this is the end of our lesson today. If you would like the worksheets for the lesson, like and subscribe to my channel and email me at awesomepossumclassroom at gmail.com. I cannot give you the, the worksheets and the lessons unless you email me. Um, go to my YouTube channel's playlist for more grade four stories and lessons. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.